So welcome back guys, you are watching Brothers Together. Okay, let me ask you a simple question. What is one thing that comes to your mind when somebody says about Valentine's Day or when you come across this word of Valentine's Day? I am sure that there are very good answers for this from you guys. So I would like to request you to put them in the comment section so that even I can go through them. Yeah, one thing that comes to my mind when I think of Valentine's Day is the flames game which we used to play in our childhood. So how many of you remember those good old days guys? We used to take our name, we used to take our crush's name and we used to calculate the amount of uh, unique characters in it. I mean the number of unique characters present in both of the names and we used to take that number and iterate that over this word F-L-A-M-E-S. <coughs> Suppose the word, I mean the number is 4. What we used to do was we used to go from F, F, L, A, M and M was cancelled and then the same thing was repeated many number of times and in the end one letter was remaining and that letter was signifying the uh, type of relationship or the relationship status that these two people were bound to be. Yeah, that was very much fun. Yeah. And when it comes to that letter, each letter was assigned to one kind of relationship. Suppose when uh, going on through that things, F was meant to be friends. If F remained when Flames game was applied on those two people, then we were judging that those two people are meant to be friends. Yeah, then L was said to be love and A was said to be affection and M was said to be marriage and uh, E was said to be enemies. Yeah, this was giving very much fun for us. We used to take our friend's name and we used to take his or her crush's name and we used to somehow end up with E so that we were telling them that you are enemies and you are bound to be enemies. And yeah, very much uh, nostalgic. These things are taking me to some other lane. Yeah, coming back, S was said to be siblings. And in the end, one letter was remaining and that letter was said to be the relationship between those two people whose uh, these flames was calculated. Yeah, I hope all of you got a brief uh, recap of what we used to do in our childhood. The kids these days don't know the value of these games. So we, in, in our generation, these were the only games which gave us fun. But in these days, even a four standard child is having a mobile phone of his own. So where can we imagine flames and all in this generation? Yeah, let it, let us keep that for another day. But for now, even in this video, we'll be playing flames. Yes, guys, you heard it right. It's as simple as it is. We'll be playing flames. Uh, I and you will be playing flames, but not with a book and a pen. Writing flames in a book and canceling stuff. All of this is not done by us. Now, this thing will be done by the computer itself. I have uh, created a project in Python. I have coded it myself. And I have coded it in such a way that if you give the both the names as input, then it will process, it will do all the things which we used to do in our childhood manually and it will return the uh, relationship status between them. Yeah, this is pretty much fun, guys. I'm pretty sure that you'll uh, definitely find this video informative and in the same way, it will be very much fun too. Yeah, for all of that and more, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then immediately click on the subscribe button so that you will be the one who will be notified any time I upload any kind of new video guys, I'm planning of uploading many informative videos regarding placements, regarding freelancing, regarding topics like this and many more in the coming days. So I'd like to suggest you to click on the notifications button and set it to all so that you will be the one who will be notified any time I upload any kind of new video. Yes guys, moving on with the video, the agenda will be simple. Firstly, we'll be playing this flames uh, game and then I'll be sharing you the source code and I'll be explaining you how actually it works and what is happening in the background in order to give you the end result directly. Yeah, with that note, we'll move on with the video guys. Yeah, this, the thing which is presented on the screen is, uh, I mean, the pro Python program is being run. So now it is asking, uh, welcome to flames created by Darshan S. Gouda using Python. Check the relationship status between you and your crush right now. So type play to play flames and to exit. So this is just uh, whenever you create any projects, whenever you are publishing it somewhere like in platforms like Replit, platforms like GitHub and all, things like these are necessary because that will improve the user experience. Yeah, now when they when the user types play, suppose I'll type play. Yeah, now the entire code starts executing. This is just a preliminary screening kind of thing. Yeah, when someone, uh, when the user clicks on play, then it'll, it is asking what's your name. So what shall I put or what shall we put? Yeah, one thing that comes to my mind when people talk about adorable couples and all is the couple of, I mean, the pair of Virat and Anushka. I hope there are many fans of the same couple here in our community too. Yeah, let us try that thing itself. I hope the result comes out to be nice. Yeah, Virat and what's your crush's name or else what's Virat 
crush name so let us take it as anushka itself for this video sake yeah we'll put anushka and then let us check it i hope the results comes well yes guys so it's l you are made for each other so what has this actually done it has taken the string virat and it has taken anushka and then calculated the number of unique characters in it and has taken that number and that number has been iterated over this flames string so now uh, yeah i hope you all found this very much fun yeah now let us try one more couple yeah now let us rerun this program and then set it to play and then what's your name whom shall we put uh, yeah let us put mine itself okay guys i hope you all are very much curious to know my crush's name yeah my name i'll be putting what's your name it's darshan and what's your crush's name whom shall i put yeah i'll be putting my crush's name here i hope nobody sees this i would request the editor to blur this too yeah and uh, oh, it m time to think of family planning cuz you both are going to get married oh, i'm really i'm really very much happy and i'm uh, kind of or or well to seeing this i can't explain my emotions yeah i hope even you find the same thing even you get m or l so that even you will be happy and i have given the link in the description to this source code and even you can go there you can access it and you can even play this i request you all to play this and let me know the results in the comment section yeah enough of uh, examples i guess i we took virat and anushka it came out to be l i mean they are meant to be lovers and when i checked mine and my crush name it came out to be m literally yeah guys this has made my day already yeah now we'll be moving on to the uh, other part of this video that is understanding i mean seeing the source code of it understanding how it works and understanding what is happening in the background such that it is giving us the result instantly yeah now let us move on <coughs> let us move on to the source code yes guys here i have uh, taken two print statements in the i mean for starting and then we have taken an input from the user and saved it in a variable user you can go through this okay let me maximize this terminal if possible okay yeah i hope everything is being visible for you so now uh, user i mean we have taken an input from the user and saved it as user itself yeah type play to play flame or end to exit yeah and i have taken a variable is on and set it to true and this part of the program while is on uh, this if else nested if else statements now uh you can see here when we uh, when it when the uh, program asks us what's your name it is uh, setting it i mean it is storing it in a variable called boy and then if it uh, when it asks what's your crush name it is storing it as a variable girl and it is creating a new dictionary i hope you all know uh, what a dictionary is in python and what are its applications if you want to learn about it i suggest you to go and research about it and there are many youtube channels which are providing free courses regarding python its dictionary tuples and various other stuffs like that for one thing if you have to learn it in kannada then i would like to suggest you to go through our uh, partner channel which is engineering in kannada there the entire playlist for python in kannada is ready and you can go through it and you can learn all these things there <clears throat> yeah a dictionary is cre i created a dictionary and i have uh, created two for loops for both the strings for boy and girl so what this for what both these for loops are doing is that they are taking suppose virat is taken so for each letter in virat <coughs> so v so first it iterates over virat and then when it is when it is iterating over v it stores it to dictionary i mean it stores a key value pair that is v and 1 so one times v is coming and then i also one times it is coming and i 1 so these kind of key value pairs are added to the dictionary in that that for loops and i have done one more thing there if you closely observe it if dict of i is equal to is equal to 1 i mean if already the uh, letter is added to that dictionary and if we encounter that again suppose v is encountered again then even in our flames game we used to cancel that uh, duplicate characters is in the same manner here also if already if v is there in the dictionary if already v is uh, there in the name behind itself or before itself we are uh, reducing it to zero i mean we are reducing it to zero and then in the end we are uh, taking a variable num and setting it to zero <clears throat> and then who wherever in the dictionary there are letters whose appearance or occurrence is only one time those are appended to this num so we get a number wherein that number tells us how many unique characters are there in both these names 
yeah now i have taken an array uh, called res wherein uh, it stores the relationship status as i already said you yeah it's f you both are i mean you are born to be friends it's l you are made for each other yeah these are very good uh, lines is what i feel it's a affection is holding you together enhance it yeah these are uh, some things yeah these are the relationship status according to that letter which has been stored in an array by me yeah, then moving on to this uh, uh, next the thing is now uh, even in our game which we used to play manually we would get a number by calculating the unique characters and then suppose if it is 4 we used to iterate it right from f l a m when we used to cancel it that thing is carried out here so if you see this code uh, seriously and if you go through it you will be getting to know what generally is happening here so this is taking this number as an input yeah this is taking this number as an input and this is uh, doing the same thing which we used to do manually that is it is taking right and left as two pointers and it is dividing it in an array, it is dividing the rest array into two and in the end it is returning the first element in the array you can see here it is returning print rest and that is of zeroth index i mean this means uh, return the first element in an array called res i hope you all have a preliminary knowledge of this yeah then uh, is on is set to be false that is once the program is executed and once it is done then uh, the variable which we had taken in the start of the program uh, we have taken here is on is equal to true and that should be set to be false or else this while loop will become an infinite loop and it will keep on asking for uh, prompts it will keep on asking for inputs and this game will continue continue infinitely so to break that chain i have set this is on variable to false here so that that will be the end of it and then even here if user in the starting when it asks to enter play or end if the user enters end then uh, i have uh, set it to print thank you hope you had a good day playing flames using python and set the is on variable to false so i hope all of you are understanding what are the takeaways through this yeah and then else or else if they put any other value other than this uh, play or uh, uh, end they'll be getting a prompt which says invalid input and even that thing is setting this is on variable to false and this is how this actually works so if you go through this sensibly then even the code is doing the same thing which we do manually but the thing is you should understand how this actually works and you should uh, try to give correct instructions to it and even you will be able to come up with projects like this i hope all of you got a brief idea of the code and enjoyed a lot while i was playing this game by putting my name by putting uh, our favorite cricketer virat kohli's name and all so i enjoyed a lot while uh, making this video guys i hope even you found it informative and i would like to request you to even try it out if you have some knowledge if you have some preliminary knowledge of python or any programming language for that sake you can even try this you can even uh, see my code as a reference and even you can try this and let me know and uh, put it on the comment section so that even i can try that out yes guys this was it uh, if there are any doubts or if there are any suggestions then immediately click it or put it on the comment section so that i'll be uh, able to think of what can be done regarding it so before ending this video i would like to tell you one thing try out this game i have given the link in the description you put your name and your crush name or your friend's name and his or her crush name that will be more fun and then let me know in the comment section what were the results and how you found it i mean how did you find it awesome or did you find it sorrowful yeah i will be looking forward to all your comments on this and then if you want any further videos on the same uh, kind or it's on the same topic like these uh, like small python projects which will help us make uh, things automated then put it on the comment section so that even i'll be able to come up with those projects yes guys this was it uh, share this video with your friends too so that even they can check their relationship status with their respective crushes so i don't think you need to check all your friends uh, relationship status by yourself even they'll be very much curious to check that so i would suggest you to share this with your friend i enjoyed a lot while making this video i hope even you found the same if you found the same then immediately click on the like button so that that will give some kind of motivation to me for uploading the same kind of videos in the coming future and then last but not the least i would like to inform you regarding our telegram group where in around 3 900 more than 900 engineering students across all over karnataka across colleges at distant corners of karnataka are present and they are conducting efficient discussions and they are helping out each other you will definitely love your time over there so i would like to suggest you to join if you haven't joined yet yeah with that note i'll be ending this video guys so thank you guys thank you we'll meet in the next video bye